station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I'm ready for the event. Young Astronauts Club of Japan, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Houston, this is Young Astronauts Club of Japan, Tokyo. How do you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. I hear, I hear you loud and clear. Very nice to meet you. Mr. Onishi, good evening. Mr. Onishi, we are, I am Kosada and I'm Kojima of Young Astronaut Club Space Brothers. We are here in Tokyo and also from Ueda, Nagano, Ishikawa, and also Miyazaki. And there are a lot of students that are, get, that are gathering here, and they are very much looking forward to speaking with you, Mr. Onishi. Good evening. I can hear you very well. You're cheering up. I am Takuya Onishi of JAXA. I am flying over 400 kilometers above the Earth. I am at the International Space Station and in Kibo, which is Japan's experiment module. Very happy to be with you here today. So we would like to start from Tokyo venue. First, um, Yoshimura-san, please. I'm second grader, and my name is Rei Ichi Yoshimura. What sounds do you hear in space? Is it noisy, or rather, is it calm? はい、え、宇宙の音ですね。Well, the sound in the space. Then let's be quiet and hear the sound of the space. どんな音聞こえましたかね。あの、宇宙ステーションの中、結構あの、音は大きな音がしてます。で、どういう音か。Did you hear the sound? What kind of sound did you hear? Actually, in International Space Station, there are quite a lot of noise, and they are mainly mechanical sound. If you are on the ground, you have the air that is circling naturally, but here on International, International Space Station, we have to make those circulation of air artificially. Therefore, we have something like fan that is going around 24 hours a day. So we hear that kind of sound and also other types of machines that are running. So it is rather noisy. But here in Kibo module, this is one of the most quiet locations. So it is rather quiet now at this moment here. Probably you didn't hear much when I had the microphone on for you. But so this room is very popular among other astronauts. So a lot of astronauts, other astronauts, use this uh, Kibo module. Thank you very much for the good question. Thank you very much. Now from Ueda site, Ms. Suzuki, please. Hello, I'm sixth grader. My name is Nao Suzuki. What do you think are the world's expectations of Japan regarding space travel, because I'm really happy that the Japanese astronauts are there and doing a lot of work. And I believe that your a lot of um, training and your space, uh, work in the space, there must be a lot of things that the Japanese are expected to do from the world. So there may be some roles that the Japanese are expected to do. So please share your opinion regarding that. Thank you very much for that question. This is Cable, the Japan Experiment Module, and there are various unique functions or equipments here. 
One of the examples is what you can see here behind me. This is air lock. And what it does is that uh, there's a door here. And when I open the door, there's a small vestibule here. And behind that vestibule, there's another door. And right behind the door is the space. So we open the first door, put something inside, close here, and then make the vacuum here. And then open the next door. That way, you can bring something out of the space. Therefore, you can do various things, such as putting some equipment into the space, or satellite you can also put into the space, like using robotic arms. So this is a very unique equipment that we have in Kibo module. And there are many other interesting functions that allows us to do various experiments. And also, we have Konotori, which is the cargo ship, and which is able to carry almost six tons to International Space Station. So that is one of the largest uh, cargo ships that allow us to bring things to the space. So the operation of Konotori is one of the things that uh, we are gaining a lot of trust from the world. Therefore, we would like to continue our work as one of the Japanese astronauts. And the next Konotori is going to bring the battery that is to be used in the International Space Station. The new replacement battery is to be brought here. And it is an, actually only the Konotori that can bring many batteries at a time. So that is also another great opportunity that we can show what uh, Japan can contribute in the space. Thank you very much. Next, uh, from Komatsu site, Mr. Onishi, please. Hello. I'm third grader of junior high. My name is Haruki Onishi, representing Komatsu site. I'm reading a space report of astronaut Onishi. I'm really looking forward to reading to uh, reading your article. And there is an article in that report that uh, ISS would be swayed when someone does something in IS. Are there any cases that you restricted your behavior except for during an experiment? So we have the same family name. You are also Mr. Onishi. I feel very close to you. Well, to answer your question, when we move, you know, astronauts move in ISS, that tend to play ISS a lot. We have to exercise when we run on treadmill and when we bring something up, the heavy weight, then that tend to sway ISS, and we are prohibited to do that kind of exercise, exercise during experiment. But also when there is a docking of another spaceship or when we captured Konotori spaceship using robotic arm, and then if the space station is shaking, uh, then that may damage those equipments. Therefore, uh, during that time, we are limited to do an exercise during those uh, period. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, Mr. Eto from Miyazaki site. Representing Miyazaki site, I'm the first grader of junior high. My name is Takumi Eto. Do you communicate well with uh, other national astronauts? What is the key for good communication for astronauts uh, from other nationality? Well, here on International Space Station, we have three nationalities, people from three na countries, U.S. and Russia, and myself from Japan. And actually, in total, 15 countries are participating in this uh, International Space Station project. And I have been to various countries for training. And what I felt that in order to get uh, good communication with people from diff different nationality, it is important to understand culture or value, value, and we have to respect differences. 
also just having communication is not good enough. You have to do good work as well in order to be trusted. So working very hard is also very important, and uh, that way you can be trusted. So that way you would have very smooth communication. So that would be a good cycle that you would have. So communication, doing good work, and then keep promises. Those would be very important. Thank you very much for the question. Thank you very much, Mr. Onishi. And maybe we have to speed up a little bit. Now uh, we would like to have from Tokyo site. I'm Mari Hasegawa, fourth, fourth grader. Are there any omens for future success or any rules in ISS which is different from the ground? You're on International Space Station when Space Shuttle arrives and when Space Shuttle leaves they have practiced of bringing bell like this. So when new crew arrives and when they leave, we also ring this bell. This bell is actually located in U.S. module, but I have brought this for this event. So this is the sound. So like this, we ring the bell to welcome new crew and also say goodbye to the crews. So that is uh, the practices or rules here on International Space Station. Thank you very much for that question. Now we would like to have Wakabayashi from Ueda. I'm third grader, Maho Wakabayashi. Does the sun or the star look the same from the space as it as they look as it as they does from the Earth? And how do they differ? Well, the sun seen from the space is almost the same as that from the Earth. But on the Earth, you would have the air that would be preventing uh, the light coming down straight. So, But here on space, we do not have air, so they are glaring a lot very shiny, but uh, we actually use those uh, power of the sun to make energy and let us uh, our equipment going. So the sun is very important here on space as well, just as in case of uh, ground. Now, Mr. Yamamoto from Komatsu side, please. Representing Komatsu site. My name is Yuki Yamamoto, third grader. Did your impression of the Earth before you went to space change after you went to the space? Thank you very much for that question. Well, when I came to the space and when I looked down to the earth, it is really beautiful and it's so big. So it is the whole the earth spread in front of us. So it is really big. So when I was on the ground, I had wanted to go to the space all the time. But now that I'm in space, there are things that are so great about the Earth that I didn't realize, like like the smell of the air or the nice feeling of the breeze. I didn't feel it until I came up to the space. I didn't feel it on the ground. So the things that were so natural and matter of course are really precious I came to learn. Thank you very much for that question. Thank you very much for that answer. Now, from Miyazaki, Mr. Totake, please. Representing Miyazaki site, my name is Kotaro Totake. So, when an astronaut goes outside from ISS for 
EVA. Does the ISS lose the oxygen? はい、どうもありがとうございます。そうですね。あの、普通にそのままドアを開けて外に出て行こうとすると、あの、宇宙ステーション。Thank you very much for that question. Well, if you just open the door and if you try to go out, then of course the all the air of the International Space and International Space Station would be lost. And in order to prevent that from happening, we have this kind of equipment called the airlock. This is only for the things, but we have larger airlock for people to go out. And we make the vacuum the space before opening the door. And because of the airlock, we would not lose oxygen from ISS. Thank you for that question. Thank you very much. Uh, we are running out of time, so this would be the last question. Kashiwaya san, please, from Tokyo. Second grader, Nako Kashiwaya is my name. Do you have any dreams and targets after you become, became an astronaut? Thank you very much for that question. Well, first of all, I would like to do good work in this uh, expedition work. And then I believe that human being is uh, try to go uh, farther and challenge, and that is how we had advanced. Therefore, I would like to continue challenge to something new or challenge to go to further places. And in that attitude, I would like to do my work of astronaut. Thank you very much for your question. Actually, we can have another question. I would like to have a Wayashi from Ueda. I'm third grader. Uh, sorry, Yuito Akabane is my name, and I have a question to you. So in the International Space Station, what kind of food do you eat in ISS? Yes, actually I had brought something because it would be easier for you if you see it. Those are space food, those are food in pouch or freeze dry and also canned food as well. This is the sardine, a miso taste and we also have curry, we also have rice. So if you put some water, I mean hot water, then it will be reconstituted to be rice. And actually Japanese space food is quite popular among other countries' astronauts. So when we gather together, I bring uh, some Japanese food, but uh, they really like it. Sometimes they are eaten by others, and especially Russian astronauts like uh, Japanese space food. Thank you very much for answering that question. So we are running out of time, Mr. Onishi. Thank you very much for answering all those questions. So, so Mr. Onishi, please give message to the children, to all the sites. Tokyo site, Ueda site, Miyazaki site, everyone gathering all those sites. Thank you very much for your great questions and gathering there. I am on International Space Station for four months in total. I have done almost half of it. And there are more experiments that are ready, such as uh, developing uh, protein crystals. I would like to share with you the content of those experiments. And I hope that you continue to give me support. Thank you very much for your questions. Mr. Onishi, thank you very much. Let's say thank you to Mr. Onishi. Thank you very much. Let's give big hands to Mr. Onishi. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. 
Thank you, Young Astronauts Club of Japan. Station, we're now resuming operational audio communications. 